Welcome to our second video on our home buying series. Do you have someone in your life that's looking to buy a new home and you're looking to help them on their down payment? Well, then this video is for you. Perhaps you're considering different options, helping out by being a co-owner on a mortgage loan, setting up a loan yourself, or even gifting cash or stock or other investments as a down payment assistance. Hi, I'm Winnie Sun, a longtime financial advisor, managing director of Sun Group Wealth Partners, Forbes personal finance contributor, and CNBC council member. Today's video, we're gonna focus on one of the most important money decisions that most people have to make, and that is on purchasing a new home. There are several options to consider when you're looking to help others to fund a down payment on a new home. So today we're going to break down some of the most common options. Gifting. Gifting money to family or friends can help with their future education or home down payment, as well as being a smart estate and tax planning move. For wealthier Americans, giving away cash now can actually help you reduce or even avoid future estate taxes when you're no longer here. Currently, you're able to gift $15,000 per person during the year without even having to file a gift tax return. Now, if you're married, your spouse can also give $15,000 to the same person, which would increase the annual tax-free gift up to $30,000. You're able to do this year after year without worrying about paying any gift tax unless the total of your non-exempt gifts over the years exceeds the lifetime limit, which is currently at 11.7 million for 2021. But as always, I recommend that you consult with your tax accountant or CPA for all tax-related decisions. Currently, an individual is able to transfer a total amount of 11.7 million at death or during their lifetime free from federal gift and estate taxes. So together, a married couple is able to transfer 23.4 million. Not ready to do this yet? Well, here's something to keep in mind. This tax-free transfer amount is about to expire after 2025, which means it is possible that the future amount that you're able to transfer free of estate taxes could decrease. In most cases, mortgage companies will allow funds that are being gifted, but you have to expect that you're gonna be asked to disclose these funds and also the source of the funds on your mortgage application. Now, what about gifting stock to help with a loved one's down payment? Now, gifting shares of stock to family members can have a number of benefits. This is especially the case when you, the giver, are giving away shares that have a very low cost basis to family members who are in a lower tax bracket. When we're talking about gifting shares of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and other investments, here's where we have to consider something called capital gains tax. The person who receives the stock will owe capital gains tax when the shares are sold. Again, you wanna consult your tax advisor on this, but typically the tax liability or capital gains is determined by factors such as the cost basis and how long the receiver of the stock has held the gifted stock. Now, gifting stock to family members could have several benefits depending on your circumstances. Gifting appreciation stock to a family member instead of simply giving cash can be a win-win for both parties. It allows the giver of the stock to avoid potential long-term capital gains tax that would be owed on that position. And if the receiving member of the stock is in a lower tax bracket and needs to access those funds, they could potentially be able to sell that stock at a lower tax liability. This can be a great strategy if you have parents at a higher tax bracket gifting to an adult child who is in a lower tax bracket. Now the reverse can also be true. And if you have shares that have greatly appreciated and the person with lower income sells some or all the shares, they could potentially pay no capital gains tax if their income is below a certain threshold. Now keep in mind also that currently in order to qualify for the long-term capital gains, stocks need to be held for at least a year. As a side note though, if the person you're considering gifting stock to is a current or future college student or is a student's parent, parent, then keep in mind that the gift could potentially reduce the student's eligibility for need-based aid. This is very important when you're filling out the FOSA form. This loss of financial aid can often negate some or even all the tax benefits that we spoke about. Additionally, using a trust as a way to give stock to family members can also be an option for those looking to give. Lastly, let's talk about setting a loan for the down payment. Someone you know is looking to buy a home and they haven't
haven't saved up enough for that down payment and you want to help, the loan could be an option. You can set up a direct loan or even more than one loan toward down payment assistance and this can be mutually beneficial if set up correctly. I'd recommend speaking to your accountant or CPA about this matter. You'll want to make sure to craft the contract and terms carefully in order to avoid future IRS scrutiny and family misunderstandings. This is what you need to know. For any loan which is higher than $15,000, not to be construed as a gift, the interest rate that is charged must be at least as high as the IRS monthly applicable federal rate, which is AFR. Again, talk to your accountant on this one. Have an attorney or other specialist draft up a detailed promissory note and have it recorded under state and local laws. By doing it the right way, the person receiving the loan could potentially claim a mortgage interest deduction. And if you do, decide to structure a loan, it's also important that if you go this route, you may need to report this on your tax filing as interest portion of your mortgage payments would be considered part of your income. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have given you some things to consider as you're looking to help a loved one with their home purchase. To review your own wealth strategies and further plan for those that you care about, please reach out to us. We would love to hear from you. And as a reminder, please share this video with someone that you care about. And of course, subscribe to be alerted of future new content. Thank you so much and be well.